What's up, my beautiful nieces? Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic as clowns. Divine Feminine, just let's tap in and see what's the energy going on between you and your person. As I split the deck, ooh, curse in reverse. So somebody was trying to do some sort of spell work. Okay. They thought you was going to be feeling helpless and hopeless. But actually you you uh reached your breaking point. It's over. So they're overwhelmed. Now either they did some sort of match on you because you ended it with them or they're doing some magic so you won't end it. So, let's tap off into this energy. This could be your ex. This could be the person you're dealing with, um, male or female. So, take it where it resonates. This is a general love reading, and it ain't going to resonate with every single body. So, only take what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. If I say he, it could be a she. Okay. Yeah, you're not thinking about this person no more. So they was doing some sort of magic. Um, if they were trying to do a love spell on you or send some sort of hex or a curse to have you thinking about them, wanting to be with them, it ain't working. They could have been doing some sort of spell. They was trying to do a love spell. Yep. Yeah. And then when in reverse, and instead of you missing them, thinking about them, and craving them, you ain't doing none of that shit. You ended it. This person tried to do something that I guess they thought they was you was gonna be feeling helpless and hopeless, <laughs> falling apart. You ain't thinking about this person. <laughs> I guess they did some sort of magic. And now they overwhelmed because you ended it. <laughs> Damn. Tell me more about this person who did this hex. Tell me more about the hex and the curse. So for some of you, I get that this person did some sort of magic because you 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 reached your breaking point, okay? Because you ended it with them, they they did some sort of magic, I guess, to put you in a to make you feel like you're missing them, but it ain't working. It's in reverse. Tell me more, spirit. Karma. Yep, they getting karma. For what they did. Cause and effect. Consequences. And the consequences is they tried to do a love spell on you and it ain't work. It went in reverse. See, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to have to put at the end of this video because a lot of people don't believe that them love spells and shit work. Yeah, they can work, but if somebody is protect, know how to protect themselves, then that shit, you know, or or the if it backfire and you do a love spell on somebody and that person becomes obsessed with you. To where they'll want to kill you because they ain't gonna want nobody else to want you. They'll get so obsessed they'll hurt somebody over you or they'll hurt they'll hurt you because somebody else looking at you. You don't want to deal. You don't want to put no love spell on nobody. Okay, I'm gonna tag that at the end of this video. One of these these some of these videos where where men and women playing with love spells or somebody put a love spell on them. That shit is real. 
okay? Somebody tried to do this to you. They thought you was going to be feeling helpless, missing you and, and missing them. They, they getting karma for this shit. And the karma is you don't want them, you're not missing, missing them, you're not desiring them or craving them or none of that. You don't want them like that. Yeah. Tell me more. This is a shock. See? Now that they're they're in shock, now they're going through some shit. Okay, because they just knew for a fact that this spell work was gonna work. They just knew this love spell was going to work. Foundation in reverse. They could have been doing something. Um, it's like, for some of you, this person did this. They just didn't want you to get away. Okay. But it's like they didn't they didn't want to build the foundation. They just wanted you to be there. Yeah. So they trying to do some sort of hocus pocus bullshit. <laughs> Boy, these readings get funnier every day. See? Now they broken hearted. They heart is shattered because they, they wanted you to be broken hearted over them just like i said it's like they i guess this person wanted you to be so in love with them for them to just do you wrong this is some sick twisted shit it's like they somebody just they doing spells for you to be in love with you and they really don't want to be in love with you how does this person feel about the collective how does this person feel about the collective? They don't have no feelings? Vulnerable. Now they want to open their heart. Their heart is open to you, but that heart is broken. See, I feel like they're feeling the same pain and same energy that they sent to you. How they broke your heart is how they're feeling broken hearted because you had no choice but to give them the same energy that they was giving you. If they wasn't showing you no love, you stopped showing love to them. Some of you didn't like this person's sex. You said they think it's trash. Yeah, mixed emotions, no more of that. This person was blocking the emotions, sending you mixed signals. Apparently, they was craving you. Apparently, they was desiring you. But apparently, they was playing games with you, and it broke your heart. And if you learned to heal and get over this type of energy, you got over the cloud of judgment, you mended your heart, and now you're not thinking about this person. And now they're the one, their heart is destroyed. And they want to open their heart to you. They don't want to block their emotions no more. They don't want to send you no mixed signals. Yeah. Damn, as I pick this up, death on the bottom, they don't want it to end. So... I mean, instead of doing magic on somebody to keep somebody walking away from you, why don't you fix yourself? You, you, these karmic energies are steady and running around here doing magic to fix other people to bend to their will, to accept their nasty, low vibrational ways. Instead of healing and fixing themselves and being, making themselves more approachable, more loving, more giving, more caring. But no, they don't want that. They want to stay in their funky, nasty, low vibrational ass energy. Fucked up, talking about you, not giving a fuck, giving two shits about you. And they want you to care and be all head over heels in love with them. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. Put it in the comments. That shit don't work. Somebody, you know, wants, wants to block their emotions from you. 
send you sick mixed signals? Don't you thinking and craving and missing them and all of that shit? That's why they ass is getting karma. Look, again, right on top. That's karma again. Judgment. Yeah. And that's because they was doing this magic or spell work. Because you ended the conflict with the five of wands. And you got peace. And now that you're peaceful... Some of you, they're, they're doing the magic because you're peaceful and they're trying to bring you back. Some of you, you could be in a relationship still with this person and be in a peaceful mindset and they're trying to do something. Okay. They may can feel the energy that is almost over between you and them. Someone who once closed their heart wants to open their heart now. So we're going to find out what it is they got to say. Hold on. I got to go in, in my closet to get this other deck of cards I done put up. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> so this deck is so big, I have to split it in half. What are the messages from this masculine? Why is he, I mean, it's obvious that this person cares about you and they're missing you and they're craving you. But it's like they want you to be head over heels over them or something. I know that we are spiritually connected. I need to own up to where I feel sure about this relationship. There is no one else. I'm thinking about you all day. But this person... Some of these cards I read, they come out in reverse. And, and when they come out reverse, to me, that's saying they lying. Okay. And where he's saying, I need to own up to where I feel sure about this relationship. He's not going to own up. He's, he's still not sure. Okay. And there is no one else. And I'm thinking about you all day. If that's in reverse, he's lying. He may be thinking about you all day. But he's lying when he say there's no one else. And he could, he could be lying when he's saying he's thinking about you all day. Because if he's with somebody else, he couldn't be thinking about you all day. Unless he's with somebody who he's just trying to kill his time. You know, um, being around a particular person because he's missing you. You know, and this could be having him fucked up if he didn't want to spend a lot of money. Or paid a practitioner or somebody to do some sort of curse. Or if he didn't pay out a lot of money and you're not thinking about him and you're not... The spell work ain't working, the hex ain't working, the curse ain't working, the witchcraft ain't working. He he really thinking. Not only is he thinking about, you know, desiring you, he's thinking about the money that he done spent in trying to get you to desire him. It ain't working. It's the money he's trying to get for you to open your heart. Some of you have opened your heart. Some of you are vulnerable to this person, but right about now they're vulnerable to you. And other people are interfering and trying to control me. I just put that in. That was just in a, another reading that uh, I just uploaded where this masculine, he got into a fight with some of his friends. Because, see, he went in during the time of him and Divine Feminine's breakup. For those of you that broke up between you and your person and you got back with him during your breakup, he was out there talking shit. Okay. He was talking shit. Ladies, we do it too. So ain't no sense in front. Y'all was broke up. You was talking shit about him. He was talking shit about you. He out here talking shit. Now, that's not for everybody. Everybody ain't talking shit. But hell, if the shoe fits, wear it. You know what I mean? And these same people he went to that he was talking shit about you. Then when he got back with you, they, they, they made him go back down memory lane and said all the shit that he said. So he got into an argument. He mad at him. Okay. Tell me more. 
Now he's saying they're interfering, but they wasn't. They didn't. They didn't put themselves in a the relationship. He did by by him inviting them, telling them about what was going on between your relationship and the breakup. We need to let each other go. That was in reverse too. I love you so much, no matter what. That came in reverse. I feel empty without you. That came up right. Yeah, he do feel empty. Um, where he's saying we need to let each other go. That came in reverse. He don't want to let you go. Mm -mm, that's why he's doing these hexes or some sort of curse. Masculine, you need to just heal and stop doing this. Yeah, if you feel this way, you know. How many minutes is that? 16 minutes. Tell me more about this masculine. He see that you're financially dependent, Divine Feminine. You're able to take care of yourself. Um, if you want to go shopping, you can. If you want to buy yourself some new shoes, you can. You have stability. You're able to treat yourself. Yep. And now this person, the Virgo energy with the Hermit ear in reverse. He don't want to ghost you no more. Apparently, this person, <laughs> this was somebody who was ghosting you, and now they see you looking good, treating yourself, taking care of yourself. They want you in the energy of, of to wait on them. Yeah. Somebody wants you to wait on them. And they they trying to do some sort of magic to make you wait on them or to make you come back or to keep you from leaving. You have burden and stress. This person could be stressed out. They could be overwhelmed by the choices that they made. Yeah, this person, yeah, they're 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 trying to create blockages. So for some of you, you may be having somebody, they're trying to either block you from moving forward with somebody else. Yep, the lovers in reverse, you're not you're not being intimate with this person, you're not giving them your sexual energy. Um you may not be giving sex to them because you may may realize that by being intimate with this person, this can create blockages in your life. If you lay down with this person, or they could put burden or stress in your life. If you lay down with this person, okay, or maybe you need some of you need need to stop being intimate with this person because they're creating blockages in your life. Okay, what else, spirit? A broken heart. They could be broken hearted because the magic ain't working. Yeah. See, you freed yourself. And the, the truth and clarity is in reverse. The Ace of Swords. This person, they 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 kind of like scratching their head, like, how did you free yourself? I did a curse, or I paid somebody to do a curse or a hex. Why why is she still freeing me? Why is she still why is she don't want me? <laughs> That's what they're saying. Why is she not giving herself to me? I'm broken hearted. My heart is broken. Tell me more. Juggling. See? They can't juggle you no more. They're they're disorganized right now. They're disoriented right now because they tried to do some sort of magic or spell work. Okay, why? Why are they two of cups in reverse? This person, you know, is this 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 what that card just pissed me off. Some motherfucker want to be a player, right? But as I split the deck, 
somebody wants you to like being being some shit where you'll give you'll you'll be in a a, a divine feminine energy upright and they'll be in a divine masculine in reverse yeah they want you to be in a relationship two of cups reverse unequal give and take were you giving all your love and support to them emotionally, financially, spiritually, energetically, and they don't give to you? This is why they trying to do some magic. Because see, the shit ain't working no more. You ain't falling for the okie doke. Yeah. Somebody wants to be a player. King of Cups reverse. Not showing you no love, no emotions. You won't be able to satisfy this person. Whatever you offer them, they ain't gonna they gonna ain't gonna accept it because they're in a, a King of Cups energy reverse. Ooh, I don't want to deal with none of that. This is somebody who like will will tuck you in if you're cold. If your stomach hurt, they'll go to the store to get a ginger ale for you. They're nurturing. If you cut yourself, they're going to go get the first aid kit. In reverse, this person, you can bleed right in their face. You can drop blood on them and they ain't going to move. Yeah. See, apparently this person wanted you to be in a relationship with them where they just a total dog to you. Is what I'm getting. That they they emotionally manipulate you. They block their emotions. They won't tell you. They and an emotional manipulator is it's like they can make you feel like you did something to them and you didn't do nothing, but they treating you like you did. They mad at you for something and you don't even know what the fuck they mad about. Maybe this 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 is their way of manipulating you and that shit, that manipulation ain't working no more. Yeah, this is a this is a asshole, whoever this is. Doing some sort of spell work for you to be in a relationship. It's like they they this is just this is a that's all I can say is this is a Oh, I don't I know it's a word out there for this person. I know the word, but I, I don't know the word. You know what I mean? I wrote this word down one time, but I don't remember what I wrote it down on of this person. It's not the narcissist. This is somebody who's, um, maybe some of y'all can put it in the in the comments. What this? They don't show no love, no matter what you do for them. Nothing makes them happy, but they want you to still be with them. See, it's like they want to try to treat somebody like a punching bag, like a bully. Like if they can, like, break you down and put a lot of burdens on you, have you stressed out. Who the fuck is this? Ooh, this, this better not be no energy coming towards me. Get the fuck away from me with that shit. And I'm supposed to not even be cussing in my videos. I'm supposed to stop. But this is a, this is a motherfucker right here. Yeah. This is somebody who, who wants you to be trapped, sitting around waiting for them. And I guess they're going to be ghosting you and shit. Or it could be an energy of somebody coming back from ghosting you and want to spoil you and buy you a bunch of shit to get you in some sort of entrapment. And then have you all lovey-dovey, all of loving on them and shit. And then they go in there today. Next thing you know, you don't know what they mad about. You got to sit back and puzzle yourself and have your mind all fucked up. Because you was trying to figure out what did you do or what did you say earlier to make them just all of a sudden switch up. That's some narcissistic shit, but that's not the word I'm talking about. Oh, I can't think of the word. Yeah. See, you you have a, a calling upon you. You're supposed to be, you're supposed to be being uh, publicly seen for something. Mm-hmm. 
And this person, whoever they are, I'm about to get out this reading because it's making me mad. They want you to be trying to be perfect. They want you to be feeling stuck. You know, they want you to be in a relationship with somebody who's not going to love you. You can't satisfy them. You'll be burdened and stressed out, trapped. Why they leaving you hanging, waiting around? They getting karma for this shit, though. Damn. Mm. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, yes, Holy Spirit is saying yes right now. Show me no, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, show me no. See the difference? Front and back is no. Left to right is yes. Show me yes again. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. Okay, Holy Spirit, is this person that is someone trying to do some magic? On the collective. Did they try to put a curse or a hex on the collective? Someone tried to put a curse? Yes. Did this person... Did this person come into the collective life to sabotage them? Was this person sent by the devil to sabotage the collective? Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Does the collective need to go back to this person? Does the collective need to go back to this person? See that? Just telling you no. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The collective divinely protected. Are we protected by the Holy Spirit? See that? Yes, you are protected. Yes, we are protected. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. So, you see the answer. Um, let me see. Let me, one more question. I got more than one. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, yes, Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, thank you, Holy Spirit, does this person have good intentions for the collective, do they have good intentions for the collective, they don't, 
No, they don't. They don't have good intentions. You see, it's, it's, this one not as, as strong as my other one, I feel. But no, they don't have no good intentions for you. Should the collective focus on themselves? Focus on themselves. Focus on yourself and not focus on them doing magic. Okay, I feel you, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, it's saying that even even though you may feel, or I'm telling you, this person is doing magic. Don't you don't accept that. Okay, we rebuke it. Okay, we return it back to sender. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Returning back to sender. Reversing and returning it back to sender. Yes. Yeah. Oh, don't return it back to sender. Send it back to hell where it come from. Send all confusion back to hell where it come from. Yes. Send all the confusion spilled. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So he's telling me, don't don't return it to sender because I guess basically you're you're that's the same evil shit they send towards you. You don't want to send no evil out. So to return it to hell, where it originally came from. Yeah. Okay, Divine Feminine. If I gave you some clarification in your situation, then go ahead, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next read. Peace out.